Yes, 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 people, welcome back to the United with myself, CM, and my twin bro over Dessa Kiapi. But yeah, man, Manchester United capitulating. That's the Villa 2, Manchester United 2. And yeah, you know, we took the lead under Bruno Fernandes in the sixth minute. Big mistake by Emi Martinez, kind of spinning the ball almost right through him, and it goes in. And then Bruno Fernandes scores again in the 67th minute to put us 2 0 up. But what happened after that was quite a disgrace. 77th minute, Jacob Ramsey scores, and then four minutes after that, Felipe Coutinho. Yes, Felipe Coutinho completes the comeback. And I've been aware, you know, the, the last few United teams have been. 20 odd minutes because we've had a lot to say but to be honest i'm not gonna try and make it that long because yeah it's only echoing the things we've said before at the end of the day exactly that so yeah my thoughts in the game i thought uh, first 35 minutes we controlled the tempo very well you know whenever matic is in our midfield i think we do well uh, matic he compliments compliments sorry a fred or whoever he's next to because Matic knows what he's doing, he's a proper CDM, he'll stay back, he'll control the tempo of his of the game, break up plays and all that kind of good stuff. So, you know, first 35 minutes, it, it was good. I enjoyed what I saw, you know, we had some attacks, we had some chances and, and we did get lucky with the first goal. But, in the end of the day, that 35 minutes showed that we deserved that goal in the end of the day. My problem was the fact that towards the end of the... Actually, it wasn't really much of a problem to me. Uh, I just noticed that towards the end of the first half, I'd say after 35 to the 45th minute, we started to get a lot of pressure and, and drop back, drop deeper. And I felt like at the time, maybe you need to go and counter counteract that. And maybe because it's away from home. You know the natural reaction is to drop back and defend your lead but yeah for <clears throat> that reason it happened aston villa they gained confidence the, the fans they weren't silent they they grew in noise and and they were almost like a pack of wolves especially in that second half but yeah we started to lose control in my opinion from the 30th 35th to the 40th minute and then from there, I don't think we really got it back on a consistent basis. Second half, there were some good moments in that early in the second half, but it was still slipping. And those two goals, despite them coming late on in the game, 77th, 81st minute, and they were inspired by the substitutions from Steven Gerrard. Yes, I felt like that moment had been coming even before the substitutions because they were pushing. They were pushing and the crowd was getting more confident and even more confident. And that's the problem. How do you deal with adversity? How do you deal with moments where you're not always going to be in a, in a favourable situation? In a situation that puts you in, in a, you know, a win-win scenario. You're going to be in moments where you need to deal with tough, tough breaks. You need to bounce back from adversity. And when that first goal went in, I almost thought, here we go. And then that second goal went in, and then I was like, here we go again. So, we know where we are as a club. Most of us anyway. This is who Manchester United are right now. Low in confidence. I just, everything at the moment is not going our way for what it well. I'm not gonna say for whatever reason because we know why. <laughs> but yeah, we're low in confidence, low in drive, low in energy, and low in fitness it seems like. Because even though I said I enjoyed the 35 minutes that we played well, why are we only playing well for 35 minutes? It was like on the Ole when we'd have a terrible first half and then come back in the second half looking like prime Barcelona. Why are we only playing good for a half? Now, we can't even play well for a half. It's 30 or 35 minutes. <laughs> so, there's a lot of things to fix. Um, 
current squad we have a lot of these guys i'm coming to the realization that a lot of these guys may not be here whether that's players leaving on a free or players just forcing a move out of the club altogether so where will that leave us it will, it, i'm already looking ahead and it's it's gonna be an interesting situation looking at the state of the club come the end of the summer i'm not saying the start or the middle come the end how many players are going to still be here from this squad? How many players are just going to be gone? <laughs> so, I'm already looking ahead because to me, this season is written off in terms of title aspirations. Possibly in terms of top four contention. Because we have a lot of ground to make up right now. And if we're going to continue dropping points like this, we have no chance of making the top four. And if we do, we're lucky. That means the other teams above us slipped up. It was a great escape. They say the escape and relegation. That would be the great escape. <laughs> because right now we don't deserve it. And we will not get top four if we continue to drop points against Aston Villa. Against the, the bottom three. Because we did that. Remember. Alright, look, CM, I understand your approach, looking at it as a way to try and calm yourself down, looking at it as Manchester United are in the bin right now, but I can't continuously think about those things and then have a positive mindset, have a positive outlook, because I'm just going to go crazy, and it's that simple. That is not good enough. And if me, you, or all of the people watching try to accept that, then we're just lowering our expectations. 35 minutes, look, CM said it. 35 minutes of good football. Now, I would, I would give United the 45 minutes, you know, round it up to the 45 minutes. But even that is not Good enough. Nah, nah, nah. A football match is 90 minutes. And you can't even play one half. One good half of 90 minutes. It's a mentality issue. And you know what? I'm just going to say it here. It starts from the top. It starts from the top. I'm sick and tired of having to say it time and time again. But it's true. It starts from the top. When... <laughs> And this is why us fans, us fans need to pattern up, you know. Us fans need to pattern up. We need to come together. We need to be radical. Because in the end of the day, these guys will continue to mock us. Make a mockery out of the football club that we love. Manchester United. And I just hope you guys and girls are seeing that. Because constantly, game in, game out, on a weekly basis, in between games, we are being mocked. The fan base is being mocked. We are not respected. Leaks. Rumours. People want to leave. People are unhappy. Managers becoming frustrated. Think getting rid of Ed Woodward. Is, he's still here within the club. And then you got a guy in John Marto who's exactly like Ed Woodward. So what's going to change there? Zilch. Nothing. It's just frustrating to see. It's frustrating to see. These people continue to be just, you know, these guys. You have to deep it, people. You have to deep it. A smartly run and fully functioning football club employs people who know about the business of football how to win on the football pitch we continuously fail to do that and then the people everybody else but the board take the blame most of the time in the summer it's okay to be glazers out it's okay to do protests it's okay to do these things but when it's the season, oh, it's distracting the team. Oh, it's, 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 it's putting the club in a negative paint. It's putting the club in a negative canvas or whatever. Well, however you say it. 
continue to put pressure on these people. I will say it right now. Glazers, get out of this football club. Because you have contributed to failure. And all, and all those little minions that work below you as well. And you continue to keep in this club. You get out too. Because this is not good enough. 2-2 two, two draw, Aston Villa. We're not even contending for the top four in this rate. In this rate. Enough. Bin that. We already bin the title hopes. We can bin the Champions League too. Give a go against Atletico Madrid. But I doubt we'll reach any further. FA Cup. We'll be lucky. It may happen. May not happen. But it's... I've never reached a point in the season where I look at it and say, oh my God, we are done. We are absolutely, actually maybe I have, but this season, it just feels even more negative. Even more negative. And it's reached a boiling point at this football club. Everything has reached boiling point. While the people at the top just look down, laugh because their pockets are filled. It disgusts me. And it should disgust you. And it should disgust you. People, man. I said I wasn't going to come along on here and stress myself out. But look, done it again. It's a good thing CM said don't chat for as long this time. Because I know we ain't got much things to say. But we keep on... We have to relay the same thing Because us as a fan base need to come together We need to say the message that matters Spread the message that matters These glazers, mm. these board members who continuously contribute to the poor culture The toxicity within the club And a lack of winning and ambition need to go And that shouldn't be just spread and relayed in the summertime it should be all year round, 365, 12 months, every single minute, hour, second, day, week, month, everything. Please drop a like, subscribe if you're new man, share the twins to another dimension. And also, check out the new podcast, the Stay United podcast with CM over there sir. Should be coming out the same day. So, have a look out for it. It's going to be out on audio platforms. It's going to be out on the tube. A nice little backdrop, nice little studio for him. Why can't we get the same treatment? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Nah, I'm, I'm not playing. Hey, editor man, pattern us. Where's the studio? Where's the, where's the nice studio that CM's in? I've had enough with him. Drop a like. Subscribe if you're new people. Much love for the support. Big up yourself. Have a blessed, blessed day, man. Productive day as well. And I'll see you lots in a... Same intro. Big! Or outro. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, everything free, no need for a criminal, mind control, all subliminal, Twitter, TikTok, Insta, digital, join this crew, follow my Twitch and I might rape you, if you pass through ends in this my gang, bust down doors or phase right through.